Coming up next, right here, live on the internet. That's right, it is Bass Guy. It's Bass Guy, gonna be doing the stuffs for you. He's here for you. He's live streaming Bass Guy. He's streaming. We may get some Dr. Nair Mumstead. We may get some Satan calling in. We may get all kind of things going on. You never know what's gonna happen when the Bass Guy show goes live, right here on Concert Window. Be sure to tip those waitresses. Yes, in the video. Let's give it up for. Thank you, but please, please stop. Thank you. Today's show is filmed in front of a fake studio audience with a really shitty green screen that isn't working very well. But on the positive note, we're here. We've got our popper stopper here. Face Guy Show. I'm going to uh, go to a quick audio break, and then we're going to do some uh, looping and some live music. So thanks for watching the show today. It is really hot out there. It is... Uh, currently about 30 degrees celsius it's pushing 100 fahrenheit right now i'm going to try to get out to the pool if i can uh please stand by we'll be back right after this commercial message Stop. hey t bros the great satan the sun tina up a ladder guy velcro and weather guy and all those future people that will join the show Thank you. Base Guy loves you. If you would like to make a fun, wacky commercial advert for the Base Guy show, just send us in a voice recording of your hilarious skit in MP3 format, and Larry, our producer, will turn your idea into a full-blown THX Dolby Stereo Polyphonic Googleplex audio advert that will blow the minds of millions. Uh, I can't find the image. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> Leave me alone, Sheila. Okay, so this is taking a little while, so let's start all over again, okay? You're watching the Base Guy World News. Hello, Gajan and Van Gogh are having lunch in real life. Wow, Gajan gets around. She's cruising. She's like Coach Ray driving all over the country, doing the things, meeting the people. Good for you, Gajan. That's super nice. Uh, Gajan, um, I didn't have a chance to put the photos or ask permission yet, but Gajan met Bo. Uh, yesterday, I went, uh, went to the hospital and met Bo, and Bo's doing well, and so is Gajen, and they met each other, and they uh, had ice cream. So now Gajen's with Van Gogh, and we're doing the world news. So our first story in the world news is a uh, woman tries to catch Pokemon Go in a cemetery. She climbs a tree, and she has to call 911 to get down. So, <laughs> that's... That, let's change the background, I don't like the blue thing. That really happened. Pretty crazy, eh? Pretty crazy. So a woman climbed a tree, trying to catch Pokemon Go on her on her thingy there, and she frickin' asked to call 911. You don't have to climb a fucking tree to catch a Pokemon. I know, for, first of all, you don't need to climb a tree to catch Pokemon. Second of all, what are you doing as an adult carrying a tree with one hand, because you're holding a phone, and then, if you can climb a tree, you you say to yourself, "I've never climbed a tree before. Can I get down?" <laughs> She's making us look bad. That's right. That's what the news does. The news is one percent of what's going on in the world. There's lots of good. Everybody in every country, and I mean literally, and you have to take this to heart. Every country in the world, most of its people are just normal people who want to watch the Flintstones and drink coke off their stomach on their day off people aren't going around shooting and killing each other and war and everything it's freaking 99 percent of the world's at peace it's the news i'm not going to get into this cliche zeitgeist new world order bullshit 
Most people are nice, and most countries are nice. It's people like to amplify. If you fall down and you trip, it everyone, not everyone, but it makes news. It's salty, dirty laundry. The elevator door opened. The guy was too busy trying to catch a Pokemon that he didn't bother push. Well, the thing that makes me wonder is not the Pokemon thing, but I always like to ask, what is going on? It's a phenomena, a phenomenon. Did did it did it? And it makes you think. There's obviously a need for this. People are so interested in playing video games. So people, I ask myself, like I'm trying to think of the psychology of it. Are people lonely? Do people want to escape, or is it all of the above, or is it just like Nintendo comes out, or Pong comes out, or the television comes out for the first time, and people are like, "Wow, this is really cool." So we want to harvest that energy and manipulate it and use it for our own benefit. <laughs> <laughs> nostalgia. Okay, so nostalgia is the number one.、Uh, so maybe because it goes back nostalgia. That was like, that was like last week for me. The '90s was like last week. <laughs> so, anyways, so it, the woman climbs a tree, and she has to call the police to get down. This is a real story in England, and she's in a cemetery. You know. Anyways, we're gonna go to our next story in the news.、Uh, this one is pretty actually funny. I have a few stills for this. I'm having trouble finding my stills.、Uh, an artist builds a wall around Donald Trump's Hollywood star. So there's an artist, and、uh, it looks like normal there. Let me give us a close up, please. I know you're in the toilet and everything, but Larry, one second, one second, Larry, could you? I'll do it myself. One second, little comedy joke there.、Uh, where is a picture of the wall? So yeah, Donald Trump has built,、uh, wants to build a wall around Mexico, and he might be the president of your country. Anyone who says I want to build a wall around a country should be put in the fucking loony bin. It's just first Ronald Reagan, then Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> and now and now you want Donald Trump. <laughs> He's actually winning. It's really, really scary. The prime minister of Canada is a fashion model. <laughs> what, the, what the frick is going on, people? Let's let let someone who's like in their ninth. No, I don't know. What's that? You want me to stop talking? Okay. So that's what happened in the news. An artist built a wall.、Uh, please don't let him be president, guys. So here it is in Hollywood Squares. It's kind of a Banksy move, and it's pretty smart. We should build. We should not be building walls. We should be building bridges, and as our good friend Gandhi says, only when we build a bridge from this reality to the next world will we live in peace.、Uh, and our last story in the news, so that was Donald Trump has a wall around his Hollywood star. I walked down that street once; it was pretty fun.、Uh, man, man saws off. This this is just <laughs> the the level of human stupidity is is、uh, is incredible. This is real, and this is in Britain. And in Britain, they have serious laws about your car. I've noticed it's more slack here in Canada. In Britain, you have to have an MOT, which is a car test, and you have to have it every year, and you have to pay for it. And your car is not allowed to have any scratches or bumps on it. If you have a broken, like a, a little bit of rust or like a little bit of metal sticking out, anything like that, the car does not pass. It has to be repaired. Your car has to be smooth. It's almost as if, like, if your car is parked and And kids or people are walking along it. They, they're allowed to like rub themselves against your car and not get cut. So the very seri- serious rules in Britain.、Um, I used to drive all the time. I haven't driven in five years, so I'm a totally different guy now. It's because of my back, and I really do miss it. I used to travel the world a lot and drive a lot, and I had my own car and drive everywhere. So in Britain, you have to have an MOT, and your car has to be up to date. This guy in Britain cut off the roof of his car because it was. Too hot outside. He wanted to cool down and turn his car into a vertible. So I, I guess I'm assuming he didn't have air conditioning. Air conditioning is not a big thing in Britain because it rains there all the time. <laughs> so I kind of don't miss it to be honest. And they towed away his car, so he made his own convertible. And this just happened this week in the news. So, these are things that done gone happen in the base guy news. I hope you're enjoying the show so far. You've just watched the big guy world news.
So uh, our next segment coming up after we play music, we're starting to get a flow with this, is uh, things that happen on this day today. But before that, we're going to go to a little audio break so I can get a, a chance to get the next song ready. So I think I found my rhythm. I'm going to stick to it for a while. And the rhythm is um, introduce the show, do a jam, do the world news, uh, play a song, do this day today, play a song, and then fill it in with Frankie, an album of the day, and anything that we're missing. So I'm going to go to a commercial break, get my instruments ready, and I have a question for you. I do. I have a, a question for you. Um, of course, you can call into the show if you want. Do you have a song that you'd like to hear? I haven't played... Uh, any of my songs in a while. I could just jam or whatever. I have a few things prepared. But if there's something in particular from the, the bass dork list that you'd like to hear, write it in the in the wall. Hello, Van. How how you doing? I hope you're well, Van. I hope you're well. What did you have for uh, lunch, Van? And what, is, what did uh, Gajen have for lunch? We're having bird seed here today. Well, the bird is. It's such a pretty beautiful day outside there. I'm going to really try and finish up the show sharp and uh, go out there and go swimming and tan my fat tub belly, my fat profit belly. Uh, the sink is seriously awful. Thanks for letting me know that, Sloppy. So that sucks. Um, I'm going to disappear now and resync. so please refresh everybody. Yesterday was perfect. It's really weird. It's working great on my side. I'm going to refresh now, so if you're on YouTube, you're just going to see me disappear. Cool. Oh, hell no. Nah. What's up, dog? <laughs> Icky! What? I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. <laughs>
crowds, the golden sunshine on us, growing all things tall and just fruits, tall free trees, gravity's fallen mysteries, liquid colors of fountain mist, moonbeam rainbow, dolphin kiss, liquid colors of fountain mist, moonbeam rainbow, dolphin Love you, Dave. Liquid colors of fountain mist, moonbeam rainbow, dolphin kiss, fault.
those were my whale sounds. Larry, could you please get the next segment ready, Larry? Larry! That was Moonbeam Rainbow Dolphin Kiss. Larry, could you get the... Please hold the line. Larry! Larry, there's there's people on the... There's people watching the show and they want to know what's going on. Just put some frickin'... Put the, this day today on. This day today on the Base Guy Show way. That's right, I totally forgot about that. Uh, we have a new segment now. We have a new correspondent with us. His name is Dan. This is brand new. Let me call him. Uh, turn this Skype off. And uh, let me see if I can find this here. And uh, Dan is our bo- uh, popping correspondent. He likes to pop things. So let's go on live now to our camera right here and see what he's popping for us today. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, are you there? Dan has a, a popping balloon fetish. Behind me, I got my He-Man castle, Skeletor. I kicked his ass yesterday. Uh, what is the wall saying? Uh, he pops a potato bag of potatoes. So yeah, that's our new correspondent. We're always looking for new sources of entertainment here. We're always rooting for the little, the little guy, the little people. No pun intended or whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I haven't. I don't think I swore much today. I should swear less, you know, because there could be kids watching, and we want the world to be nice, so I only swear when I mean it. Um, yeah, this day today, so let's see what we've got here. Larry, can you get up the, uh, the appropriate stills, please, for this day today? So these are things that happened on July the 21st. The first one is 1873, and this story is about Jesse James. Um... The first train robbery west of the Mississippi was pulled off by Jesse James and his gang on July 21st, 1873. Jesse James and his outlaw gang of outlaws outlawing the law with the laws that have been outlawed. So most of his gang was caught, but him and his friend uh, managed to, to sneak out. So there's Jesse James. Uh, Our next segment or bit in our segment of this day today on July 21st in 1925. This one cracks me up, but we have to remember it was different times. Uh, The Monkey Trial. Uh, In 1925, the Monkey Trial, John T. Scopes was found guilty. He was found guilty of violation uh, of the Tennessee state law by teaching evolution. (laughs) So you have to remember it was uh, 1925, and he was found guilty. I guess he was imprisoned or fined or whatever. He was found guilty for teaching evolution. So that happened. <laughs> I found guilty in my pants pocket this morning. What was in your pants pocket? I don't know. I don't want to. Don't want to go there. No, but I, no. Uh, so here, here's uh, here's them in court. There's that. That's probably the the guy saying like, like, we did not come from monkeys. We came from a jar covered in the by mo. No, never mind. Uh, so that's that. And our last uh, bit segment was 1970. The uh, Ashwan High Dam was opened in Egypt. If I can find Larry, up a still of the Larry. Are you even here? <laughs> Larry, could you put up a still of... I'll do it myself. Close the door, for God's sakes. Disgusting. So, this is the... Um, 
the Aswan. Sorry, it's called the Aswan. The Ass Dam. This is the Ass Dam. And to get a perspective of how big this sucker is, we have to go into outer space. So hold on, we're going into outer space. Um, just let me get a camera. Take a quick picture of you of outer space. Here we go. Look at the size of that. Frickin' dam. Oh, damn. D ass dam. Ass damn it. Sloppy, you nailed it. <laughs> Well, it looks like there's Pokemon. There's Pokemon uh, at the bottom of the dam during the hours that they open the water. So when they open the water and it all flows out, you have to be right there at the bottom to to receive it. But you have to climb down the dam and then call 911. That huge dam. That's that's where the uh, the pyramids. The pyramids were were built uh, according to Tennessee. They were built in in the year uh, 1850. And uh <laughs> giving Tennessee a hard time. I'm just joking. Time times were different. There's another photograph of the, the anti evolution league. <laughs> it's almost like the anti educa the anti uh thinking or the anti education league. <laughs> the conflict hell and the high school. <laughs> the anti evolution league. I think we should be part of that. So, uh, concert window needs to get brought up uh, by Dell or something, or maybe HP. I don't know. Actually, concert wet window is doing really well. They're on like the top lists around the world of streaming, and streaming is at the forefront of uh, technology right now. But people haven't caught on to it. And the main here's another picture of the dam, the Ass Dam, the Aswan Dam. It's it's spelled A S W A N, so it could be Ashwan or Swan Swan. A sw it's probably a swan, a swan dam. Fuck you about the dam, says Sloppy Unfocused. <laughs> Thanks, Slop. So, uh, fuck, I was important, and I totally forgot what it was. Uh, if you want to check out our new website, that's pretty cool. It's uh, hard to see there. Sorry about that. It's the Base Guy Show. Dot com, and everything you need to know is there. Uh, how much, how much uh, sugar and salt to put in if you're making marzipan? Uh, what temperature to st store your refrigerator at? How to uh, how to make a makeshift MacGyver dune buggy to impress all your friends? How to save on your energy bill? Anything you need to know, it's all on the BaseGuyShow.com. We'll be making cards soon, so please go visit there and tell one friend about it. That's the best way you can help support the Base Guy Show. Um, but we enjoy it. Turtles, BG, just letting you know the audio keeps cutting us off. Okay, so I'm going to refresh. And Ernie tried some exercises to supplement his sports program. Here's one to build up those abdominal muscles. Okay, so we just refreshed the page and we're back in the studio. Uh, you're watching the Base Guy Show. Which our segment. Um, we're moving on to birthdays now. So, if we can go back to here... Um, Whose birthday is it today? We have the birthday of Robin Williams, who just passed away, unfortunately, in 2014. It hit me like a ton of bricks when I looked at... I was like, 2014? That was two years ago. What the hell happened to all that time? Robin Williams is amazing. Um, the week that he died, uh, my girl, girlfriend and myself had just finished watching uh, the entire series of Happy Days. And that's where he made his premiere. In Happy Days, he was uh, he was the Fonz's hallucination, uh, and and it turned into the, the the Mork and Mindy show, and the show was supposed to be based on Mindy, but Robin Williams was on a natural high, and uh, he spent his whole life making people happy, making people laugh, making people entertain, but he himself obviously was struggling inside and some of us think that sometimes you know why does that happen it probably always goes for all of us all of our issues go back to our first five years of life our childhood and uh, maybe it was his defense mechanism who knows and then I realized because it's happened to me personally I've lost many th people through suicide and I know all not I know all about it I've just learned acceptance to not really question 
and to give respect to people and their decisions and to leave people alone and respect them. So Robin Williams, you were one of the greatest, greatest comedians ever on the planet Earth and you made the world a better place than when you arrived. So happy birthday to you, Robbie Williams. We all know how amazing and beautiful you are. There, there's a lot of I've watched a lot of a lot of documentaries because it's a su subject that touches me and many people personally, and uh, a lot of uh, part of the speculation is that uh, he he was uh, working in movies that you know were way below his standard. You know, like I don't want to say what movies they were, but if the movie ratings he got were like three out of ten stars on the database or four stars. So he's playing in crap, crap Hollywood films, and apparently he had three, three wives and three sets of children. Think back. And he what? had to pay, he had to pay out large sums of money uh, through court battles. So he had to take shit jobs that he did that not shit jobs because he has money and everything, but he had to take jobs that that really uh, damaged his creative ability and put him down. You know, he's basically doing like like stupid Hollywood kids movies that get like three out of ten stars just and he himself is much larger than the movie so isn't it a shame isn't it really really sad when 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 people are really good at something and they're stuck uh, doing something where they don't belong and it's not always a choice thing sometimes it's not a choice and apparently that are some of the speculations only speculations but whatever he did, I uh, we have to just respect what he his choices and leave him alone. But yeah, he really made the world a better place. And there's a lot to be said about what happened in the uh, whole Robin Williams case. Amazing comedian, absolutely astonishing. He's right up there with Richard Pryor and George Carlin and all the greats. Uh, moving on to another amazing. So happy birthday, Robin Williams. Rest in peace. Another rest in peace amazing actor is Don Knotts, who was on the Andy Griffith show and in the show Three's Company as Mr. F Mr. Farley, was it? Mr. Farley, a very, very funny man, Mr. Farley. Uh, he, he played uh, the gay landlord, and uh, Jack R John Ritter was uh, room mates with two women, so he pretended to be gay so that he could live there. Times were different. We always have to remember the context of how these of, of what was happening. And it's also another birthday. So that was Don Knotts, nineteen twenty four to two thousand and six. It is also the birthday of Cat Stevens, who is sixty eight years old. I don't know much, much about Cat Stevens, but on the that note of Cat Stevens, we're gonna have a segment that we haven't done in a little while, and that's album of the day. Larry, what the hell? Album of the day. I don't know what's up with Larry. He's been in the toilet all day. Poor guy. Happy birthday, people. Cat Stevens likes reefer. Happy. Be so I don't know much about him, but I have uh, three. I have four vinyl. I think five actually. I've got f four or five vinyl albums of Cat Stevens, and I got a really good record player and a really good amplifier from the eighties, a Marantz. And uh, here's Cat Stevens. And this is a, an album called Cat Stevens. And there's a picture of a cat on the front cover. Sorry, the green screen's on, so it's a little bit weird. Uh, this is called Teaser and the Fire Cat. And it's got songs such as The Wind, Ruby Love, If I Laugh, uh, How Can I Tell You, Moon Shadow, and Peace Train. There's this one a lot of people probably recognize. This is Cat Stevens' Greatest Hits. And uh, most of these albums open up and have artwork inside them. It has Peace Train on it as well. And uh, this is from the year 1974. That was the year that Bass Guy was born. 1974. And we have another one. T for the Tiller Man by Cat Stevens. So all of his albums, you kind of get a, a cozy kind of cartoon kind of family feel to it like hanging out with your cat and nice singer songwriter probably his songs are deep I'm gonna check this guy out this week and here's uh, Mon Mona Bone Jacone Mona Bone Jacone and this is another album this one looks a little bit older Let's see if I can see the year I can't 
cannot see the year on it. All of these records, of course, are from uh, A&M Records in Hollywood. So that's the uh, album. I hope you enjoyed that. 1974, yeah. So that was album of the day. So we're not finished. We have to go. We have one more birthday, I think. Is that right, Larry? I really need to find a real life sidekick for the show because when when Kurt or Doctor Nirmum said it's here, it's 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 a different world. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, that's why a nighttime show might work better. And it is also the birthday of Ernest Hemingway. That's not Ernest Hemingway. We'll get him up in a second. Yeah, baby. So happy birthday to uh, Ernest Hemingway. There you are. And his birthday uh, was is today, July the 21st. He passed away in 1961. He was born in the year 1899. July the 21st. He's looking rather... Oh, there. <laughs> He's looking sterling. That's a good adjective for that. Uh, I think I had one more photo of him, but I can't find it, so we'll just leave it there. So happy birthday, Ernest Hemingway. Uh, you just done gone watch yourself the bass guy show so we're going to uh, move along now so let me go to a quick break by one more song and then we're going to finish up the show bassguyshow.com if you want to help support the show there's ways you can do that there there's also videos there's music there's tea and biscuits and there's a comment section if there's anything you'd like bass guy to do we'll read it and we'll consider it um, we have a little bird on the feeder. Let us embrace the power of nature and just relax for a second.
good film to watch you're enjoying stranger days then go watch war games if you like stranger stranger days watch war games watch et watch friday the 13th and uh watch dungeons and dragons cartoon from saturday morning that's what i do uh every saturday i have a computer an old computer i found in the garbage and i got it working i got an old computer in my kitchen and i only use it once a week and the only thing i use it for is a true story is every Saturday morning I like to wake up, make breakfast, bacon and eggs if I have money, and then I put on my computer and I put on Saturday morning cartoons, either the cartoons themselves or just the commercials. And this is a whole, it takes about an hour. I cook the best meal and wash the dishes and I dance around and in the background is Dungeons and Dragons and Ghostbusters and the Pee Wee Herman show and, and Looney Tunes and, and it, it makes me feel like a kid. We all love the, the 80s. The 80s was great. So next week we're having 80s week. So you heard it here first, Gajan, if you're listening. Um, we have 80s week coming up next week. Tomorrow is the last day of mistake week. Have you ever made a mistake? Let us know what mistakes you've made and we'll tell them on the show. Let's try this. We haven't done this before. We have a comment section, the last tab, the far upper right-hand corner of the BaseGuyShow.com. Awesome comment section. Tell us what we're doing wrong. Tell me why I'm doing my wrong life. <laughs> why I'm doing my wrong life. Uh, let us know what your mistakes are. If you would like us to say something on the show, write in there, and then maybe we'll talk about it on the show. Thank you for watching the Base Guy Show today. 80s week is going to be... Uh, I make no mistakes. That's your mistake then, Sloppy. Your mistake is that you make no mistakes. And don't watch Tony Robbins on, on Netflix. The guy's manipulating people. You pay 7,000 bucks and he screams at you for five days and you feel good about yourself and then next Tuesday you're in debt again you get charged 20 bucks for your overdraft you're just a freaking loser accept it no I'm just joking do whatever you want Base Guy loves you Tony's an okay guy I, I love you Tony if you're watching this Tony you're a, you're a good guy you've made the planet a better place I guess you know, you, or lots of money at least so who am I to judge this reality smudge it's so hard to go because I love you guys so much we're going to go now with the Base Guy National Orchestra
City, Nova Scotia. Major Heat Wave is headed towards Winnipeg, Manitoba, Wednesday, July 20th, 2016. Temperatures will be going up to 32 degrees Celsius, and the humid index will be above 40 degrees Celsius. And it's going to bring very hot and humid conditions to Winnipeg, Manitoba, and surrounding areas, including Brandon, Manitoba, and Port Angel Prairie, Manitoba, including north of Winnipeg as well. I recommend people to drink lots of water, drink lots of fluids to keep you hydrated for people living in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and surrounding areas as well. I recommend people to water your plants and water your gardens. Make sure you have your host ready to water your plants and gardens in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and surrounding areas as well. Since the hot and humid air comes from the Gulf of Mexico, that's going to cause the heat waves in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and surrounding areas for the next couple of days. Starting on Wednesday, July 20th, 2016, it's going to bring very hot temperatures in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I recommend people to drink lots of water, drink lots of fluids to keep you hydrated in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and the surrounding areas as well. It's going to bring high heat and humidity conditions in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and surrounding areas as well. People in Winnipeg, Manitoba, be prepared. Make sure you have your hats ready, sunscreen ready, sunblock ready, and sunglasses ready. Make sure you have your fans and air conditioners ready, and turn on your air conditioners to keep the house cool. When you go for a walk, don't walk too far. Make sure to limit your outdoor activities such as outdoor sports, biking, walking, running, jogging. Head to the swimming pool to get cooled off. During the heat wave, and head to the beach and go swimming to get cooled off for people living in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and the surrounding areas as well. Farmers tell the cows to drink lots of water. Tell the horses and other farm animals to drink lots of water. Make sure to water your crops and the farms, to water your plants and water your farms in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and the surrounding areas as well. Take care, stay safe. Don't get too hot. Stay cool, be safe.